welcome back everybody to Daily Maths Concepts. Today we're going to continue on where we left off on algebra. We will be looking at how do we multiply two brackets. What are the fundamental principles that we need to take in order to execute this properly? Stay tuned and you will learn. Multiplying two binomials and we're removing the brackets. What are the binomials? Well, but examples of binomials, as you know, like we have 3x plus 1 together, we call this a binomial. We're looking at two terms that walk in together. x minus 2, two terms that is walking together, so we call them binomials. What we want to do in this um, session is to quickly look at how do we multiply two binomials. What I'm going to take is just a systematic process. For example, in multiplying two binomials, every term from the first bracket must be used to multiply by every term from the second bracket. In so doing, basically, we can rewrite this in terms of saying, okay, x is going to multiply by x minus 2. Positive 5 will multiply by x minus 2 as well. From here, we're simply doing some distribution. We're distributing x to x, x to negative 2, 5 to x, and 5 to negative 2. So we're looking at x times x plus positive x times x, positive x times minus 2. So basically, we ensure that every element from the first bracket multiply by everything from the other bracket. x times x becomes x squared. x times negative 2 becomes negative 2x. 5 times x becomes positive 5x. 5 times negative 2 becomes negative 10. Well, we could simplify because here we have like terms. So finally, x squared, when you add these two terms, we will get positive 3x minus 10. So there it is. When you multiply x plus 5 into x minus 2, the result is x squared plus 3x minus 10. Again, the principle remains the same. Every element from the first bracket must multiply by every element in the second bracket. So let's isolate them. Negative 3x will go with 4x minus 1. Positive 2 will go with 4x minus 1 as well. Let's carry out our distribution. Negative 3x will go with positive 4. Negative 3x will go with negative 1. Positive 2 will go with positive 4. Positive 2 will go with negative 1. Here it is. We have negative 3x times 4x, negative 3x times negative 1, positive 2 times 4x, we're here, positive 2 times negative 1. Let's simplify what we have. This becomes negative 12x raised to the second power. This becomes positive because negative 3 times negative 1 that's positive 3x, and then this becomes positive 8x with a negative 2. Let's do our final check. We're definitely seeing that we have like terms here again. So we're going to write back the ne negative 12x squared plus 11x minus 2. And there it is. We have multiplied two binomials very simply. I trust that you enjoy that. 